Welcome to another Keyshot Quick Tip, where we are going to look at how to use roughness textures to add realism to our renderings. For this demonstration, I've inserted a ground plane and applied a basic hard shiny plastic material to it. Next, I'm going to search for a texture I've downloaded from the Keyshot Cloud Library. I'll apply this to my ground plane as a diffuse texture. After properly scaled, you'll see that we have what resembles a wood floor. To improve the appearance of this wood floor, we will hold Alt and we will drag our diffuse texture to the bump node. And I'm going to scale the bump height down. And now we have a, a shiny wood floor. Next, I will go to the Materials Properties tab and you'll see how our roughness is set to zero. This is why our surface looks so shiny still. If you notice the small checkered box above the roughness slider, this indicates that a texture can be applied to drive the roughness value. I will go to our texture and I will apply it to the roughness. And in the real time view, as our wood floor reses up, you can see the effects of a roughness texture. If we go back to the materials textures and I disable both the bump and the diffuse texture, you can see the effect that a roughness texture has on a surface. Dark values in an image are going to lead to a more glossy surface, whereas the lighter values are going to appear more matte. Use roughness textures along with diffuse and bump textures to add more realism to your key shot renderings. For more helpful tips, subscribe to our channel at youtube.com slash keyshot3d. Go to keyshot.com learning for more videos, tutorials, and quick tips.